All right, hey everybody, thanks for joining. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane, and this is the Java playlist at the Coding Shoe. In today's lesson, we're gonna go over an intermediate method on the Streams API called Flat Map. We're gonna go over Flat Map and how you would use it, and we'll compare it a little bit also to, to Map. So if you're not familiar with Flat Map, it's definitely an interesting method, very powerful in certain situations and we're gonna jump right in. All right, let's get started. So flat map is pretty interesting. We're gonna go over uh, a diagram to kind of give you an example and give you an idea of, of it versus a map. And then we're gonna write a little code to show you how it works. Before we do that, hey, I just wanna remind you, if you're new to the coding zoo and you are trying to learn how to program, go ahead and click the subscribe button below and there's a little bell icon. Go ahead and do that now and it'll let you know when new videos come out uh, each week. Also, if you enjoy this video, be sure to click that like icon and let others know that we are here and we're trying to help others learn how to program, send them our way, we really appreciate it. It does help a lot. I will also put links to uh, different parts of this video down in the descriptions. So if the uh, visual diagrams don't help, you know, you feel free to click on the link, go straight to the code, all that good stuff. Uh, also feel free to uh, stop this video and code as I code. Uh, the more you do something, the more that you use it, the easier it will be to understand it and to remember how to use it later. So. Let's go ahead and, and jump right in. Okay, so you can see on my desktop here, I have a diagram. In this diagram, I have a few objects. One of the objects is called Nick's school class. I'm trying to show here, the Nick's school class has a list of student objects, student four, student five. Now each student has a name, right? So this is a, a hierarchy of objects uh, that represents a school class. Pretty, uh, um, pretty simple example of object-oriented programming where you're representing people or uh, you're representing nouns with objects. So what if I wanted to get all of the students from Nick's school class and just get their name? I don't care about the other properties like their height or their grades or whatever. I just want their name, right? How would I go about doing that with a map, right? Or how would I go about, how would I go about doing that with a stream? Well, you would do a stream.map. And if you're familiar with map, uh, you've seen that, in, or you've seen that in my previous video, you'll know that map is it's pretty simple. Um, for example, here I would do a school class, get students, that gives me the list of students from Nick's school class. Let's assume that Nick's school class is also called school class. Um, and then I do dot stream, and then I would map, and each um, item in the stream would be the students right so I, it would call student get name as each student goes through that stream um, into the map function it would call student get name and the name would be returned which is a string and it would collect those items with this terminating method into a list so i'm returning uh, get name for each of these objects using a map. I'm going from a student's object and I'm mapping it to a string and I'm collecting it to a list. So that's map. That's what one way to use map. So in the end, I'd have a list of names like over here on the right, Sally and Veronica, instead of having all of these objects, right? So that's how you can use map. Well, so what's the difference in that versus flat map? Well, Flat map is used for a little bit more complex structure, right? It's used for when you have lists um, within lists. So we just saw where we had one list uh, and we wanted to map it to a string, but when you have lists within lists and you wanna get data further down, it becomes a lot more complicated. You can't do that with map. You have to use flat map. So for this example, we have a class list then we have Shane's school class, Christina's school class, and there's two students in each of those classes. Well, that's what we're going to use for an example with flat map. Let's jump over into the code. Okay, 
So uh, on my desktop here, you can see I have Ontology open and I have this class open called flat map example. Now flat map example has a main method. There's a static method I've already put on there called create school classes. Well, this create school classes creates a Christina's school class and a Shane's school class, and it puts it into an array. So you end up returning an array of school classes. Well, a school class has students. You can see me adding students here. And each student has a name, an age, and a phone number. And each school class has a name for the, uh, the teacher in the class, or the name of the class. So this is Mr. Shane school class, and this is Mrs. Christina school class. So the static, so this is basically just a hierarchy of objects to represent uh, a list of school classes that have a list of students. Okay, so what if I wanted to get a list of the students' names? I don't need the entire hierarchy of objects. I just need a list of their names so I can print them out, and I need a list of all the students' names across the whole school, not just one class. How would I go about doing that? So let's try that out. <clears throat> First, let's try it out with map. What's it like doing it with map? So I'm going to create a list of school class. I'm going to call it school classes. And I'm going to go ahead and call that method to create those classes. Now, let's create an entire, enter, entire school students list. And let's get that from our school classes. So in our school classes, um, we, that's, a, of course, a list. So we can do stream. And I'm going to map each of those school classes. So I'm going to do school class. So this stream, of course, is going to map through. Uh, it's going to go through each school class and, and perform map on it. Well, a school class object still has the list of students inside of that, so I need to get that out to, in order to get the name. So how do I go about doing that? So, so basically, I need to do a return school class get students. So now I have the list of students. Well, I need their names, so I'm going to stream through those, and I'm going to map that with student. So I'm going to do a method the method get name on each of those student and what's that going to return that's going to return a list of uh, you would think that was going to return a list of strings right and well let me add a collect 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 to list there we go all right okay so I'm going to stream through each school I'm going to map a school to a list of students' names by doing school class get students, streaming through that, getting the list of names, and returning that. All right, so let's go ahead and see what that turns into. Let me go ahead and write code down here first to print it out. Let's print out entire school students list and let's go ahead and declare that variable a local variable and look what I ended up with I ended up with list stream and stream now what I need is a list of um, all the students names didn't quite get that so it's not quite so easy to get that so um, let's change this up a little bit can I change this to do a collect? I think I can, All right? And let's do a, a to list. Will that work? Let's try that again. What do we end up with? We end up with a list a list of strings a list with a list of strings so you can see i've still got a hierarchy i've gotten down to the names of the students but i still have this hierarchy i have a list that has a bunch of lists inside of it uh, so just so you can see it let's run it real quick control shift 
F10, I think we'll run it. There we go. So I ended up, if you look here, I ended up with, see this brackets beginning of an array. This is another beginning of an array. So I have an array of arrays or rather, of course, a list of lists, right? Um, so the first list in the list has these names. The second list in the list has these names. So I need one list, all strings. As you can see, uh, that's not easily doable with a map. So how can I do this? Well, you can use flat map. So let's do that real quick. All right, so what do I want? I want a list of string, a list of names. So student names equals school classes stream, oh, size, school classes dot stream flat map. Now I want to take in a school class. Okay, let's go ahead and return school class get students stream map and let's do student get name so we're going to get the so we're going to go through each of those students in that school class for each of those school classes and we're going to get the name which is a string and then we are going to collect it to a list and let's go ahead and print that out All right, so we saw before that we had list of lists and it's, it's a hierarchy, right? It's a hierarchy, right? So it needs to be flattened. So that's what we're doing. We're using flat map to flatten it. Let's run it again, control shift F10 and in IntelliJ. Uh, that is if you're using Windows. All right, so we ran it again and we can see the result of using flat map. We have one list down here we took this list of list on this. We took this list of list and we turned it into one list of strings. So now I flattened that hierarchy and I mapped those objects to strings. That's why it's called flat map. Pretty, pretty simple. That's one way of using flat map when you're dealing with these hierarchies and you want to flatten it out. You learn flat, flatten out multiple uh, uh, lists within list to a single list. All right, so I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, hey, leave me a message below. I will definitely get back to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week. And as, as a reminder, please remember to go ahead and subscribe for upcoming videos by clicking the subscribe button below, click that bell. And if you like this video, click like. We'd love to have your feedback. Our goal at the Coding Zoo is to help you learn how to program. So uh, we'd love to have all your feedback on how we can do that. Thank you very much. Have a great week. Bye.